Streamabot 0.2.4 is here and it's absolutely hot. It is jam-packed full of features. I've been using it for quite some time since I've been using their alpha and then the beta. And as you can see, the list goes on. I'm going to leave a link to the full patch notes that you guys can check out, but I'm going to pick out some of my favorite things from this update. And the first one has to be pally.gg. So you guys, if you don't know what this is, this is so you can basically let your viewers tip to your moderators and you can either take a percentage yourself as the streamer and then the rest goes to mod or you can do it 100% to mods is completely up to you but now there's an integration directly in streamer bot and it's super easy to do you just jump to the integrations page once you've got your pally.gg set up jump to um all the way to the end it, you might have to move uh, with these little arrows go to pally.gg and you set up the auto connect bang in your api key connect to pally it literally says what to do on the tint there and that's it you will be able to access the different triggers from from pally and everything like that if we go down to integrations we got pally.gg and you can do all that kind of stuff there which is just i love how simple streamerbot is once you've used it for a little while another great feature is with the variables window so you know you've got all these different variables you might have some secret stuff in there which is kind of you don't want to leak it so you can see i've got some stars on here now and basically you can mask out variables that contain a certain name so if i go to settings and you'll see under variables you'll be able to see variable masking and you just turn this on and basically anything any variable that contains either api key or url it will mask it out so if i just type in test here and press add go to my variable window and it can be either persisted or non-persisted or users and I'll add a new variable and I'll put hello test one and type in a bunch of gibberish, press OK, and it comes up as stars. So there's no more leaking stuff. Obviously, if you go to edit that variable, you'll be able to see it. But now when you're on stream and you open your variable windows, no more leaky leaky. Another cool thing is that we have finally now got the ability to do twitch watch streak so that is now a trigger so under triggers go to twitch and then you can actually get all the way down i think where's it where has it gone now uh it'll be under chat won't it watch streak so now you can put your minimum watch streak to maximum or you just trigger it on any value i created a really cool animation uh just this one here that basically comes on screen and it says who the user is and does their uh, their stream streak. Obviously, you'll be able to get that. That's available from my tier two patrons or the stream up tier two patrons. All my links are down below and any links that I talk about in this video anyway. And another one that is really handy because you can do sounds inside of OBS, uh, inside of Streamerbot, which will basically trigger using Streamerbot. So all the sound will travel through Streamerbot and you can obviously have stuff overlap. So if a command gets spammed or something like that, we now have the ability to stop all sound playback, which is really cool. So uh, if you want to create a uh, uh, an action that basically you trigger on your stream deck to stop all the sound playback, that will just automatically stop it. Really, really nice quality of life improvement just there. And the other one that I absolutely love is the new chat window. We've got a brand new chat window, which is basically all of your chats in one as you can see i've got youtube down here i've got twitch i'm doing a couple of shorts on this i'm doing a lot of shorts with little quick tips so make sure you are subscribed uh, across my socials as well we've got twitch that we can see individually we can see youtube and do multiple youtube broadcasts so you can do um youtube horizontal and youtube vertical pretty much do anything you want and you can see all your events just here as well which is really nice and there are jam-packed full of features in here. Being able to send messages between Twitch and YouTube, send to all, send to a specific one. And then the settings menu has just gone even deeper as well. So I'll be doing a full video on this separately because there is a lot to go into and I'll be doing some shorts. So again, make sure you are subscribed. The other thing is with the event feed, there is also its own window as well. So you can press event feed and you can see it's coming soon. I have seen it in practice. I actually, this is the first time I've opened it in this video. Uh, it is coming soon. I've seen, seen little hints, really, really nice. And the really cool thing about it is if you go to settings and go across to general, 
Uh, no, user interface, sorry. You've got two little checkboxes at the bottom here that says auto open chat on startup. So it'll automatically open your chat window and you can auto open the event feed at startup as well. So when you start up Streamabot, your chat window loads up, the event feed window loads up. So it's literally making it a lot more easier for you. We also have multiple broadcasts, like I said. So with the multiple broadcasts, uh, with YouTube, what you need to do is go to platforms and then go to YouTube and you can see all your different streams that you've done via YouTube, obviously making sure your account is linked uh, under the accounts tab. When you go to settings, press the auto monitor live broadcast. This is pretty much on by default, uh, I believe, and it will monitor any new broadcast that come through because YouTube's a little bit strange about going live. But under the broadcast, you can see I've done horizontal, vertical streams at the same time. And it's so easy to do. All you need to do is jump to your YouTube studio, press um, that you want to go live, and then you can schedule a stream under the Manage tab on the left-hand side. So when you schedule a stream, you get it all scheduled up, you select which stream you want to do, and you get it ready. And the second you press Public, and it goes to the next page, of the the stream being live, then Streamabot basically picks all that up that that stream's ready to go. So you can go back to the manage page again and add a second stream in by pressing schedule stream again, and then you could set that up for vertical, for instance, and Streamabot will know that because it's public, it's ready to go, Streamabot will pick it up and you'll be able to see all the information in here, adjust the title, adjust the description, and the second you press go live, that is it. You'll be live, ready to go, and easy as that. There are so many features in this. Like I say, go check out the patch notes. And if you want to know more, I'm going to be doing lots of shorts and stuff when I get back from holiday because I'm away for two weeks. All right, put your rock of the stone. Much love.